Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. That were honest to the elders and apostles of great men's tone and taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that will be you brothers and sisters, Adawan Ratazah, that is to say Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad, back again with another lesson um, from the GMS Miami camp. Uh, back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And um, this lesson today is going to be entitled, What About the Righteous Challenge? Okay, what about the righteous challenge? Now, this is inspired by uh, uh, the brother uh, Gabar. Uh, we did a lesson last night uh, while we were fellowshipping, me and the brother uh, Gabar and uh, Kukum. And the, uh, the brother said something that stand out to me. You know, he, sp he said, uh, what about the righteous, you know, the righteous challenge? And we kind of expound on it. And I, I, was, I, I put it up in the air. I say, you know, that's a lesson right there, you know. So, yeah, I, you know, I'm on my lunch break. And I, I said, yeah, man, that's, that's going to be my, my, my lesson today through the Spirit. So what about the righteous challenge? Because you have all of these folly uh, uh, challenges going on all, 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 all across the world and on your, your social platforms, your social media. They're doing the crate challenge. The, the, I mean, it's just so much folly. They extol folly to the cloud, okay? Some of, the, some of these challenges, I can't remember off rip right now, but it's just so many. And you know what I'm talking about. All of these different challenges. You go online, you go on the net, and you see them, man. Some crazy, stupid, uh, no sense making challenges. Grown ass men falling off of crates and shit. You see? Okay. Woman shaking their ass in front of a Planned Parenthood, talking about kill the baby challenge. It's ridiculous, man. Okay. It's just too much folly. But what about the righteous challenge, man? What about that? What about the righteous challenge, man? You see? Who's seeking the Lord? Who's doing the Lord's will? Okay? Okay? What about the righteous challenge, man? Okay? So, I got a few scriptures. I'm, I'm going to get into it um, real quick. I'm going to start in, I'm going to start in uh, Genesis. Okay? Which the book of Genesis, which means beginning. And I'm going to go into the account real quick with um, Noah. Let's get a few accounts. And then we're going to get some scriptures and we're going to get ready to close it out. This is Genesis chapter 6 and verse 5. Okay? It says, And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of the heart so like of his heart was only evil continually so even back in this time man this is how it was it says and he and it repented the lord that he had made man on the earth and he and it grieved him out his heart and the lord said i will destroy man whom i have created from the face of the earth both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air for it repented me that I have made them. So the law was highly upset, man, with the way people were living on the earth at that time. You see? But the Lord found grace in Noah. You see? Noah was that just man, that righteous man. Reading on Genesis chapter 6 and verse 8, it says, But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Right? Noah was the elect of his time. You see? That's why the Lord saved him and delivered his house, man. Verse 9, it says, These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man. Okay? A just man, a good man, a proper man. And perfect in his generations. And Noah walked with God. Okay? So yeah, Noah was in the, in, in the right mind, man. He moved, he moved to, to fear, as I say in the book of Hebrews. Okay? Uh, 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 he moved with fear to, 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 to build an ark to the saving of his house, man. Now when you jump to, you jump to um, Genesis chapter 7 and just read verse 1, it says, And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou, and all thy house into the ark, for thee have, I, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. So Noah, Noah was was found righteous man in his generation. So the Lord saved him, man, because you know what happened: the whole world was put to death, other than the eight souls that were saved, man. Okay, that went into the ark. Okay, 
All right, Noah, his wife, um, uh, his three sons and their wives, man, and, and some animals would they had, you know, two by two. You know, you know the story. You go and read it, you know. But Noah found grace in the sight of the Lord, man, and 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 and, and found to be a righteous man. Man, Noah preached for over a hundred and, and and twenty years, telling the people, say, hey, <laughs> a flood is gonna come. Change your ways. Seek the Lord. Repent. But they didn't do it. So they didn't do that righteous challenge. So the fact that they, did, they didn't do the righteous challenge, they didn't do the, the right thing, they, they perished because of it. And the first death, okay? Now the scripture speaks about the second death. You should be doing the righteous challenge, man. So you could take, uh, 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 have, 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 have a ride on those chariots, man. And get salvation if you do the righteous challenge. If you if you adhere to the words of the Lord, man, you see, that's what it's about. It's about doing the right thing, doing the righteous challenge, man, for the Lord. Uh, 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 what Scripture speaks about giving diligence to making, giving diligence, all right, to make your calling and election sure, man. That's the right thing to do. You see, let's get the next one in Genesis. We're gonna go. Let's get the account of um, let's get the account of Abraham. This is uh, Genesis chapter fifteen. I start at verse 1. It says, After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham, as at this time it's called Abram. Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram. I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Right. And Abram said, Lord power, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless, and the steward of my house is this Eleazar of Damascus? And Abram said, Behold to, behold, to me, thou hast given no seed. And lo, one born in my house is mine heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. You see, so Abraham, even though he was up, up in age, okay, he believed, man, that the Lord was going to give him an a, 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 a heir from his own bowels, man. It says, And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look, now toward heaven and tell the stars if thou be able to number them and he said unto him so shall thy seed be okay and he believed in the lord you see and he counted it to be uh it says and he counted it to him for righteousness you see so the fact that abram believed okay it was counted to him for righteousness man you see he did the right thing by believing okay so that make him uh, 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 a righteous man to believe in the Lord, man, wholeheartedly, man. You see, so that's it. You 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 you, you got to be doing the right thing, man. Do the righteous challenge. Challenge yourself to do the right thing in the sight of the Lord. To be found pleasing in the sight of the Lord, man. You see, because what the Lord say. All right, when you when you born in this earth, your whole purpose, man. Okay, let's get that Ecclesiastes. The book of Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, and the 13th verse. Okay? It says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So this is the conclusion of the whole matter, what your purpose in, in earth is supposed to be. Fear God. You're supposed to fear the Most High, keep a healthy fear of the Lord, and keep His commandments. By keeping His commandments, that's the right thing to do. You're supposed to be doing the righteous challenge, man. Keeping the commandments of the Lord. Okay, it says, for this is the whole duty of man. You see, for the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil, meaning bad. Okay, so, hey, it would behoove you to do the right thing. Do the righteous challenge, man. You done did all the folly. You done did every, every other uh, hypocritical, uh, uh, degenerate challenge you can think of. Why not, why, not, why not do the righteous challenge? What about the righteous challenge? What about keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability as the book of Judges the, uh, 5, chapter 5 and verse 11 say, rehearsing the righteous acts, man. You, got, you have to rehearse the righteous acts. The laws are not done away with, man. You got to do the right thing. You see? Repent and seek the Lord in these times because the Lord is merciful, man. Let's get our... our let's go to the book of... Um, let's get the book of... Um, uh, Let's go to Acts. Let's go to the New uh, New Testament. Let's get Acts chapter 3 and verse 19 because this is what is our righteous, man. You're supposed to be doing 
uh, uh, the righteous challenge, man. Let's get. I'm gonna start at verse 18. Acts 3. The point is 19. I'll, I'll read from 18. It says, "But those things which God, okay, the Most High Yahweh, okay, but those things which the Most High before had showed by the mouth of all His prophets that Mashiach should suffer, meaning our Lord Yahweh Shai, okay." The Messiah, it says he had so fulfilled. So the Lord came on the earth and fulfilled this man. He was that sacrificial lamb to give remission of sins to the nation of Israel. Okay? And it says, verse 19, which is the point. It says, repent ye therefore and be converted. The Lord said to repent, man, and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out. You want your transgressions to be covered. You want your sins to be blotted out because the scripture says, if if, he, if the Lord said, if he, if he should count iniquity, who would stand? So you need your sins to be uh, 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 washed away, man, forgotten, man. Okay, you want the Lord to forget about your iniquity, man. Okay, but you got to, the only way that will happen if you seek the Lord in righteousness and truth and in sincerity. Do the right thing. Do the righteous challenge, man. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. That's the right thing to do. Okay? Right? Scripture speaks about looking for the old path. Let's get that. Uh, you're supposed to look for the old way, not this Western world with, 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 with all these degenerates, man. Everything is upside down, man. You know? You know, everything is mixed up and confused, man, in Babylon, man. That's what Babylon go back to the word Babal. Okay, which means confusion or with mixing. You see? We got to get it the right way, man. Do the right thing. Okay? The righteous challenge. Challenge yourself to, to please the Lord. As Enoch did, man. His testimony was that he pleased the Lord. As a matter of fact, I'm going to grab that Lord willing before the lesson done. Uh, this is Jeremiah. Jeremiah uh, chapter 6 and verse 16. The Lord said, it says, Thus said the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. You got to look for the old paths, man. Okay. Where there, where is the good way? Where is the good way, man, to walk in the good way and walk therein? Okay. Walk in the, in the way of righteousness, man. Okay. The righteous challenge. And ye shall find rest for your souls. You see, if you're doing the right thing, man, the kingdom of heaven, what you think that's about? That's about your rest, man. You being in rulership. And being in rest, man. You work every day. You slave for these people. Okay, you behind enemy lines. In the kingdom, you're going to be good. You're going to be sovereign. And you're going to have rest, rest and riches, man. And slaves. You see? But only if you do the right thing. If you do the righteous challenge. If you predestinated to see salvation. If it's all of the Lord, man. If the Lord choose you. You see? But you got to put your best foot forward to please him. You see? It says, Thus said the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way and walk therein? That's what you got to do, the righteous challenge. And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. See, the Lord been talking to our people over and over and over. They say they will not walk therein. Let's get some scriptures on that. See, a lot of the scripture speaks about uh, how our people are, are stiff necks of the people, man. All right. Uh, Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30 tell you that. All right. It also tell you how in the book of Ezekiel, the third chapter, how uh, they are most they are most rebellious house, man. Our people are destroyed, man, for a lack of knowledge. Okay, let's grab that real quick in the book of Hosea, man. Because we just read it. The, 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 the Lord said to look for the old way. Ask for the good ways, but they say they will not. <laughs> they will not do it. Okay? So, right in the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6, it says... My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. So the Lord say, yeah, man, you're going to forget you and your children. Because guess what? You, ain't, you, ain't, you, you lack wisdom, man. You ain't seeking the Lord. Okay? You, you ain't fearing the Lord. You ain't abiding in the fear of the Lord. The scriptures say the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, man. You want to attain that wisdom, you would fear the Lord. You see? That's the righteous way. Do the righteous challenge, man. You see? This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse um, 22. It says, For my people is foolish. Okay? They have none understanding. Um, it says, They are solid children. That word solid, when you go into it, it means silly or stupid. It says, they have, they have none. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. You see? Our people wise to do evil, man, but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. You see? 
And these people like to tell you, oh, I believe this or I believe that. You know, it's not what you believe, man. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not about, no, the, the scripture is, 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 is not of any private interpretation, man. All right. You got to, you got to get this word and you need to be taught this word. Okay. Because the scripture speaks about it. There's a way. Let me see if I get it real quick. Proverbs chapter 16, verse right here. Verse 25. There's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You see, you think you know what you're talking about and you really don't. That's why the scriptures say, Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5, lean not on, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not on thine own understanding, man. Okay, acknowledge him in all thy ways and he shall direct thy path. You see, so you got to trust in the Lord. That would be the right thing to do. You see, do the righteous challenge, man. Do the right thing. You see, another precept that come to mind real quick at the book of um, Ecclesiasticus, what I think is the 32nd chapter on the 17th verse. It says a sinful man will not be reproved, right? He won't. He don't want to be corrected, but find it an excuse according to his will, right? You see, it's a way that seem it. <laughs> you know, in his mind, you know, he think he's right, but he's not. And then in the end thereof, is is basically, um, it's basically the way the, the the way of death, man. Because you thought you were was right and you wasn't right, and you found out later on that you was hell wrong, okay? Ecclesiastes chapter 32 and verse 17 it says a sinful man will not be reproved but find it an excuse according to his will you see keep coming up with excuses man but if you don't if you're not doing the righteous challenge man if you're doing the the thing to please the lord like our our our, 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 our forefather enoch enoch uh right here let's grab that and uh what's that um uh hebrews hebrews chapter 11 verse 5 it says, by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because the Mosiah had translated him for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased the, the Most High. Right. You want to please the Lord, man. The scriptures say when a man's ways please the Lord, he make it even his enemies to be at peace with him, man. Okay. So I got one more passage I'm going to go to. I'm going to try to close out with it real quick. Uh, let's go to the Apocrypha 2nd Ezra. Um... Second Ezra uh, nine. Uh, second Ezra chapter nine. I'm gonna start at verse seven. Okay, you have the two thirds that is gonna be destroyed on this side, and you got the one third elect that's gonna be delivered. Okay, so this is Second Ezra chapter nine, verse seven. It says, "This is for the one third. This is for the elect. Those are gonna get salvation." Man, it says, "Another one, Rathaza. I'm a part of that special number, and I do pray for the brothers and the sisters that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and believe in this truth." It says, "And everyone that shall be saved." Okay, those who are doing the righteous challenge, man, doing the right thing and shall be able to escape by his works, okay, because they were doing the work of the Lord, okay, keeping their hand on the plow and by faith because they believe, believe in the, in the, in the, the, the Heavenly Father and His begotten Son, whereby ye have believed, okay, shall be preserved from the sad perils, right, the oncoming destruction that's going to come, World War Three, okay, War of Armageddon, man, and all these different plagues that's going to come. It says, shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So it's predestinated to see that, man. Okay, according to the book of Ephesians, the first chapter. Okay, verse 9. So these are the ones, the two-thirds, those who don't believe and those who are continuing in their wickedness and not repenting, it says. So that means they're not doing the righteous challenge. They're keeping up with the folly challenge. It says, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they have lowered my law while they had yet liberty, right, this great spirit. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood it not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Okay? So you're going to have to know it by death by pain, man. Okay? I said, that's, 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 the, that's, that's the lake of fire, man. Okay? If famine don't get you first, or the sword. You see? Or any other of the Lord's judgments. All right? So, hey, this has been the righteous challenge, man. You know, do the right thing. So with that, I'm going to have to end it there. On to the next one. Shalom.